Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new DC World Live video. Now the um, events have updated, they seem to always bring in new events on Thursdays is what I've picked up. So we've got a new event in here and it's the prize wall again. Now again this isn't any sort of stretch in, in the world of mobile gaming but it is very simple to take part in so I've really never had any complaints about it. You, you do your missions, you get 1680, and then you tap the prize wall and get as much as you can. Now, if you remember last time, they did a cool prize wall, and you could get Lex Luthor's, like, fan, um, big thingy, big mech suit. That's what I'm looking for. So you can now get Green Lanterns. And then these are the collections which sit in with your characters, and you can see the detail. The detail in this is, is mad. It looks awesome. So it's pretty cool. So if you go into the preview awards, you can see that, obviously, a 4% chance to go up to the next level but it's nice because even if you only got one level you get two extra of those which are good to upgrade collections then we've got basic rewards and yeah so it's actually none of the rewards are particularly bad but i do like to get the lab certificates because what that does is actually allow you to um jump in and push quite fast so we have got a week to do this so you can see that you just get extra tokens the amount of times you research and then you get those every day it's very simple you don't actually need to do anything extra but the reward is very very good then in the shop you can carry your tokens over so you can see in this one it's actually allowing us to get lex Luthor's armor but what i'm doing is i'm working on the invisible plane at the moment so whenever I get enough, I'll just buy there. But it's nice to see that these tokens actually carry over from the last one, which is exceptional. Because I know for a fact that um, most games like this would not do that. They would not carry anything over. So just bear that in mind. Um, that it's really nice that they've done that. So I can pick a couple here. One, a eh, lovely... I'm always quite happy when I get the titanium. Drop here as well. Nice. So yeah, if I get the titanium, I'm happy because that's the stuff I need the most to go through. We've got another 10. One there. One there. Hey, yes, 10 of those. That's the main thing that I want as well. Cool. So it's not an awful start. We've got a new stage to go through as well. Now these are never difficult. Um, they're very, very easy. So, for example, if I jump into this now, normally they're quite long, but, oh, they've got some new things. The lantern energy is scanning. Please be the green lantern corpse. Oh, they could put the new character in it. This is pretty cool. So, yeah, you can see they're all easy. And I've never had a, a single difficulty with any of these, mind. Um, and I've kind of been and gone through most of these. It's not an awful idea to pop someone who heals in. Um, but to be honest with you, I don't even think I would need to do that. I don't think I need to worry too much. Yeah, I'm just going to go with my main team. Let's put... Um, I like to put Raven in. Because what we have on Ravens in is obviously if someone dies, you're quite easily bringing them back. But normally all I do is just use Green Arrows special and everybody dies immediately. So... You know, it is a good idea to have a character like Green Arrow or Sinistro on your team that does a lot of damage to everybody. Because then you just don't have to really ever worry. There we go. See, look at that. Easy. So, um, you need to basically find the chest in this game. A green digital wheel. Perhaps you can try and turn the green digital wheel to direct the pathways clockwise. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, so you could um, skip an enemy there. Yeah. I like that. I like that. So long, enemy. Didn't actually stand a chance on me. I always do the, um, the agility allies. Then I can go in and kill this guy. But yeah, so it only gets easier as you go through because you get so many pickups. Like, I'm not going to um, sit here in this video and go through the entire mode for you because there isn't any advice I could give you. I'll zoom out the map in a minute and tell you why these are so easy. They've already done three of these type of events and I've never had an issue with any of them. So if I zoom out here, all we're going to have is we just shoot that. 
I don't know why that gun's there. Perhaps we could use it to destroy... Oh, you never used to be able to do that. And I think I need to shoot another one to activate that one down there. There we go, yeah. So, it, it's very self-explanatory. And if you miss something, you can just go back very easily. There's nothing in this, so we're going to have to go down here. So, the route's very simple. You're going to go down here. You're going to go across there. And then go down here. So, you've done that. You've got the boxes. And then after you've done that, you clear out these characters here. You spin the wheel to get it down there. You spin the wheel to get it there. You shoot the cannon. The cannon's going to shoot across. Destroy this roadblock. You spin the wheel. Go up there. Go along there. Then once you're up here, it's still very, very... There's actually... This is probably the, one of the easier ones. Because there's no stupid things you have to move around. You go down there, grab that. And you can't shoot that because you haven't activated it. You go up here, kill all of them, claim all of that. Do you see what I mean? There's not much difficulty here in the kind of ways of what's happening. You need to shoot that cannon to power up that cannon. Do you see what I mean? So it goes in a square. So it is easy. I'm not going to play through all of it. These are very, very sort of... Um, they're not particularly dull, but there's not much challenge to them. Obviously, if you're a new player, there probably will be. But it's nice to start off. Now, I had a question from Neil on my previous video, and he asked me how I have so many of those purple bits. Now, there's only one reason that I actually have that many. It's because I got so far on the um, story mode. So when I was battling him in the Source of Terrors here, you can go into rewards and claim so... Like, look how many I claimed. I claimed all of those, which is ridiculous. So that's basically how I got that far and got so many purples. So if we go back here as well, I was able to go through all of these missions every day. And I've also completed every single planet rescue. So that's where I got all those extra purple shards from. I haven't actually sort of, I haven't brought any or anything like that. I don't know if you can actually buy them. I haven't looked, but I mean, let's be honest, you probably can. So I'll go through the missions to see if I can get those last legendary ones. But if not, We'll, we'll leave it and um, we'll, we'll chuck on, we'll chuck on. Cool. So, I've nearly got enough to do a summon. Oh yeah, they've added the um, legendary selection. They always do this. Like, I really do want to unlock Deathstroke, but it's still not. It's not an easy feat to, to do that regardless. Um, yeah, cool. So, that's pretty solid. That gives me my Sinjo machine. So, we got that done. Now, I've got all of the character rooms as well at the moment, which is nice. So, they're all pretty cool. There's, again, you don't particularly do a huge amount in them, so I wouldn't worry too much. But it is... Oh, look at that. 1,000, 1,500. That's exactly what I need. I'm very actually happy with that. Is there something I can put down in here? It's just that that's red. I don't know why it's red at the moment. Cool. So that's all pretty good. But let's take a look at that new collection item that they've added. Because I know for a fact I haven't seen that one before. I'm quite happy with what level these are on. So here it is here. So the reason I'm upgrading Invisible Plane here. And I wanted to point this out to you. Is, is the skills are mental. Grab all allies. <clears throat> three stacks of Frantic and one stacks of Cloak. While also increasing their crit damage by 20% for two turns. That's just ridiculous. Obviously as you come in you can level up and it does loads. Cloak blocks the next incoming debuff slash control. Frantic increase crit. So you're going to increase crit by 30, then by 20. So you're going to get a 50% crit buff from this, which is fantastic. So this is why I like this one. Obviously, you can go in and increase it further. I didn't particularly like the idea of the Batmobile firing missiles. I know it could stun. Um, this is obviously very good. Sprays fire all enemies dealing damage, but very difficult to unlock. So I want to try and get the plane first. And then we've got this new one here, which I haven't seen yet. Possess the ally with the highest attack power and grant them 25% damage application and 25% damage reduction. So you get possessed, but it's going to buff you in basically the two ways that matter. Fear not back on the action bar by 30%. And there's loads of things that come in the upgrade as well. So to be honest with you, all of the... I don't really like the Batmobile, 
But these other three are fantastic, but they're very difficult to unlock. At the moment, I'm going through and upgrading this one because I want to get the third one. Now, I know I haven't actually got far enough yet. But I'm hoping next week I've got a couple of days where I'm just going to focus on going through everything in here. So that's why I'm doing a bit of a slow burner on bringing up my characters to the kind of peak level now. Um, I'm going to get Constantine up when I can. I think I need one more. Yeah, I need one more for Constantine and one more for Green Arrow. And I'm going to be able to get him up even further as well, which is fantastic. There we go. Can I do Superman a few more times? Not at the moment. So what I want to work on with Superman at the moment is getting a HP bonus on him. And maybe particularly a defense bonus would be very, very helpful. So we do have a upgraded heart one there. And in here, we have an upgraded heart one there as well. In here, we have a upgraded heart one. Upgraded heart one, so that puts the four effect on. So then this one I can really just swap off. I mean, for now, I might as well just put that one on. And then for now, I might as well just pop that one on. So it activates a couple of set bonuses, really. There's there's not a huge amount bonus with the speed, but it makes sense to just drop that on Superman for now, which is brilliant. And I can also finish off Poison Ivy now, bringing all my characters up to level 160. So we're up to a very good start. We're all 160 and ready to go. And that has just unlocked another... Yeah, so we're at level 160. We're ready to go. And that's done my travel guide up in here. Probably gonna get out of seat. I don't think I have 12 epic characters yet, do I? Oh, I do. Ooh, 200 more of those. That's really nice. I'm going to go through all those character trials as well next week. 2,000. I'm going to get 3,000 as well. All right, that's mad. That's mad. That might be enough to get Constantine out. Oh no, but that's giving me a good push. It's giving me a really good push to get where I need to go. Collect all. 55k from the recycled events. Okay, so oh, another 2,000 as well. Alright, that's mad. Okay, so I want to see what... Oh, we can buy a health one. Nice. Okay, I'm probably going to leave that for now. But we've got, an, we've got a health one. Which means I can pop that on Superman. It was a chess piece. Oh, that should be the second one that I use, actually, you know. Is the heal slash shield crit, because Superman heals himself at the end. Anyway, for now, let's just leave the um, heart on, and I can break the other two, because I don't really care about the others for now. But I've got the heart on there, which is nice. Cool. I just need to basically just buy just every so often just come in and buy a load of those because really I've got loads saved up um, I will let's get a crit one as well I might as well just start to buy them out just to help but there we go so we've got the new event update here guys we've got the collection items and we've got the digital universe event both pretty cool events and I hope you both jump in and get involved with them do not miss out on them they're easy to do and you're going to get some fantastic rewards hope you've enjoyed today's video guys do smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you legends in the next one.